Hey guys, it is Nikki Crow coming back at you. Um, don't you love those cheesy lines? Um, but you know, it's always a little odd when you're talking to yourself on a computer. So why not bring in all the cheesy lines? Um, so as a reminder, I am Nikki Crow with Red Hat and I am part of the training sales team. So it is my responsibility uh, to help you be able to use Red Hat products. Um, and then if your ultimate goal is to be lined up on any Red Hat training uh, learning path or any Red Hat certification path, I am here to be a resource um, to help you meet those goals. So today, guess what we're talking about? Should we do the really corny drum roll? Ooh, look at my earring. Dee. Um, so today we're going to be talking about open shift. Why are we going to be talking about open shift? Well, why not? <laughs> um, so open shift lately has been a huge keyword, uh, not only in the Red Hat community, but we're talking about Kubernetes and cloud storage um, is is really the reason why OpenShift and the product and the technology has been such a key player in technology right now. So as most of you know, uh, Red Hat did add some OpenShift technology knowledge uh, to their RHCSA, which is their foundational certification, back on October 5th of 2020. And they did that because a lot of people that were dealing with RHEL we're having to also transition a little bit into the open shift world. So now as people are going through uh, the RHCSA certification process, they're taking the courses, they're taking the exam, whether they really wanted to be or not, they are definitely gonna be submerged into open shift. So I thought, hey, let's go over open shift. Let's answer um, some questions about training, how to line up on the tra uh, correct training path. And then as always, I don't just sit here and talk you guys to death. I'm actually going to take you to our Red Hat website, walk you through how to find the information yourself, um, and then go from there. So you guys ready? All right. Okay. Let me share my screen. And you guys know by now that I do talk to myself as I'm doing this. I call it a staff meeting. So, you know, just give me a second here. <laughs> All right. So we are going to start on the product side first, just to give you an understanding of if you are interested in that, where you can find the actual product. And then because I am part of the training team, we are gonna focus primarily on the training side of it. So I simply went to redhat.com. Um, as far as finding out about the OpenShift, I'm gonna go under our products, under cloud computing to Red Hat OpenShift. And then this is just going to bring up kind of a really great informational landing page. Um, if you are wanting to connect with someone from Red Hat on OpenShift, if you want to see how it works, um, if you want to see the different features, the different plans, it's just a great way of seeing what is available and then learning a little bit more about OpenShift. All right, now let's go to the training side of it. So I'm going to go under learning and support. This time, um, you could definitely go to all courses and exam and pull the courses up that way. However, I do really love this all certification tab. I think we've talked about this before when we went over the RHCSA. This is literally going to pull up a hyperlink to all of the Red Hat certifications. So you can actually see, um, for example, if we click on the OpenShift ad administration page, it's going to bring up like what the skill sets are, who should be taking it, what the exam number is, and then what the corresponding course is. So definitely a great resource. However, that's not what we're gonna focus on right now. <laughs> so we're just gonna go back and hit that back button. We're still on the certification information pages. Um, but we're going to go under skill path and we're going to do this because I want you guys to see that OpenShift is actually going to be broken down by role type. Um, so let's go under skill path. We're going to go to OpenShift curriculum. It's going to ask us to download. And then here's what pulls up. 
Um, this is what a lot of people call a subway map. Um, it's also for us, the correct term is um, learning path. But as you can see, there's gonna be three columns. And you may be saying, Nicole, certification is not my ultimate goal. This doesn't pertain to me. Well, kind of does. So with Red Hat, remember, all of the certifications are going to be 100% hands-on. They are not multiple choices. They're not true and false. It's all about how can we increase your job capabilities. Um, and that is why Red Hat certifications are strongly and highly looked upon because they are truly based on your capabilities and not just you being able to memorize some questions and answers. So even if certification is not your ultimate goal, this path that they're recommending is still a great way for you to get started in the open shift and then continue along the open shift. So again, back to the three columns, we have a column for the administrator, and then we have a column for the application, and then we have a column for more of the developer side. And it's you know, as much as we all love someone reading as a bedtime story, <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna start at the top. So if you're in the admin, you would start at this DO080 course. Um, as a heads up to give you a little clue on Red Hat course numbers, whenever you see um, the course starting with zero, so see how it says DO, but then it says 080, anything starting with that zero is actually going to mean that it is a free course. So this uh, deploying containerized applications is a technical overview, and it's just that. It's going to give you enough to whet your appetite, but definitely not giving you enough to um, give you a foundational knowledge or let, let alone an expert knowledge. Of, of OpenShift, but it's a great place to start if you are brand new to OpenShift. And then as we go down the path, it's going to tell you like, hey, if you did this, then this is going to be your next course. Oh, by the way, if you took this class, it does line up for a certification. Here's the certification number, and then it's going to tell you the next steps. Now with Red Hat, you are not required to take the actual courses. So if your goal is certification and you go, okay, I wanna take EX180, you're not required to take DO080 and DO180. Do we strongly recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, and I would strongly recommend it right now. There's a lot of changes when it comes to curriculum and to the product of OpenShift itself right now um, that if you, are up to date on maybe an older version of, of OpenShift. Let's say you worked with OpenShift even 12 months ago, but you're not really up to date on it now. You are more than likely gonna be surprised by some of the tasks that are on the exam. So highly recommend that you take the courses, but again, not required. Um, so this is going to be the Red Hat OpenShift learning path. And again, like I said, divided into three columns, really based on your role. Very easy to read. Um, as you see the, the course numbers, they unfortunately don't make this a, a hyperlink where you can click on it. Um, however, you can just copy the course code and then come back to redhat.com. And the easiest way I found to look up a course is going to be under learning and support, all courses and exams. And then you come up here to your search bar, hit paste, and then it brings up the course number. You can hit the search bar up here. However, what that does is it's going to bring up everything that's ever been mentioned about that course. So every blog post, every webinar, um, every you know case study so if you're looking for the course link itself again learning support all courses and exams and then go to your search bar all right guys i'm going to stop sharing my screen because um, i feel at this point if i led you to this path it's pretty self-explanatory and does a great job as far as listing as where you should start and then where to to go down so let me stop sharing. All right.
And then as always, any questions or concerns, you are more than welcome to reach out to me. I know I gave this at a very high level overview um, just because I did not want to get too much into the weeds. I just wanted to let you uh, see how easy it is to find that information on Red Hat's website and how easy it is to start on a path, continue it. Um, but I'm definitely here to help you out with whatever you need to know about OpenShift as far as uh, training and certification. If you have questions on software, I can definitely help get you connected to somewhere in the software uh, sales team. And as always, I will list my contact information down below so then you guys know how to reach me. And hope you guys learned something new today. Hope you guys are getting excited about OpenShift and have an amazing day.